Hey, so in this video we're going to talk about area of regular polygons given only a side. So once again, regular polygons, equal angular, equilateral, um, and we'll probably use the formula area equals one half apothem times perimeter. If you don't know what that means, there's a video called Area for Regular Polygons given a side and an apothem. Go there, it explains the formula, it'll save uh, this video a little bit of time. Anyway, with that being said, um, the thing that I would consider doing now is always kind of writing what number of sides I have over in the corner. Just as a reference point, sometimes, you know, it's meaningful and sometimes it's not, I don't know. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we need to come up with perimeter, which is really easy to do in this case, but then we need to come up with an apothem, which is, requires us to either use a little bit of trigonometry or uh, it requires us to use special triangles, depending on the shape. So with that said, um, the first thing I want to do is find perimeter. So there's six sides at 13 each, so I can just do 13 times 6. Or if you want to go around and write 13 a whole bunch of times, because you like writing 13, that's your favorite number. It might be, be mine, actually. The whole, uh, not because of the unlucky thing, no, just because my birthday is on the 13th of a month. Anyway, with that said, uh, 13 times 6 gives me 78. So now I'm like one little component away, which would be the apothem, so let's find it. Uh, I need to make a radius, and, or not a radius, I need to make a um, apothem to make that happen, and then I'm going to make a radius as well. So let me, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to get my eraser out and erase these. Now I'm going to try my best, and my best is often not fantastic, to make the parts that I need right now. So we'll say right here's the center, so there. That's my apothem. That's terribly done, so that's not my apothem. Take two. There we go. And here's my radius. And remember, in a um, uh, in a polygon, a, a radius just means it goes from the center of the uh, shape until the corner. And you know, lie to yourself. I know this isn't the exact center, but I don't want to spend any more time like trying to fiddle with it to make it look exactly like I want it to look. And instead, I, I'm much more interested in um, making sure that we can get to the answer. Get rid of that one. I had a hidden one there. I didn't even know about it. Put that over there, out of the way. And now move this one. There we go. Pretty. Sorry I had to sit through that. Anyway, with that said, <clears throat> I've got a right angle here. So I now have a uh, triangle that I can work with, a right triangle, so I can figure out what this is. And there's a bunch of ways I can get the angles. I'll either need this angle or I'll need this angle. And uh, the first thing I can think about is like a clock, if it goes, if this were to go all the way around, that would be 360 degrees. So each one of these sections, breaking it down, so like from here to here, would be 360 divided by 6, which would be 60 degrees. And then this apothem actually cuts this whole length in half, so divide by 2, and it gives me 30. So one of the things I could look at would be a triangle like this and I now know that it is 30 degrees right here. I should know that uh, because this also, this cuts the angle in half, it also cuts the side in half. So instead of 13 down here, I do want to make a note that uh, it's half of 13, which would be 6.5. So I'll put 6.5 right there. So I can either handle this in terms of trigonometry, or I can handle it in terms of 30, 60, 90 degree triangles. It's up to you, however you want to deal with it. In many cases, you don't get the luxury of choosing a 30, 60, 90 triangle relationship. So you kind of have to go with trig, but if I have it, I'll probably use it, so this would be 30 degrees. What else could you do to find an angle? Like, I don't want to find that angle. I don't like that. I want to do something else. It's fine. We can find the angle down here. Now, uh, you'll have to use the sum of interior angles formula, this thing. 
If you don't know what this is, I think there's a video on interior angles of interior and exterior angles of polygons, or regular polygons, so go find that and explain it. But n would be the number of sides, so 6 minus 2 times 180, that would be 4 times 180, or 720. That will tell me the values of this, plus this, plus this, plus this, plus this, plus this whole angle here. Uh, in order to find each uh, an individual angle, I need to divide by how many there are. That's why the 6 up here is nice. 720 divided by 6 gives me 120. Now, with that being said, still don't have the angle there because you'll notice that this angle is, well, if it matched up, it would, uh, bisects the angle. So the angle of the triangle is actually half that. So it's 60, which is what we su suspected to be the case anyway. 30, 69 triangle, it's the only other option. But you can find either one of those angles that you like and go with that. Now, what can I do with it? Well, if you have a generic 30, 60, 90 triangle, let me clear this out really fast. Um, if you have that generic 30, 60, 90 triangle, and you'll see right now, uh, if you hadn't already, why I tend to use the system to make the triangles, because that's how I draw, <coughs> especially with this uh, pad that I used to draw on. So anyway, this would be x. The hypotenuse is twice the length in the uh, 30, 60, 90 triangle, and this would be the length of the shortest side times square root of 3. So in this case, I know that my shortest angle is 6.5. So I know that my hypotenuse, which would be my radius in this case, is uh, 13. So for this one, I'm going to say it's 6.5 times square root of 3. And that would be my apothem length. You know, relatively easy to find. And then I'm just going to multiply all this together. <clears throat> and it gives me 439.1. So there's my area. My answer so that I know that I'm right, and you can see that I'm not just making it up. So the system says that, you know, it's looking good. I'm matching it up. So there you go. Um, one more, maybe. Let's clear all the objects and clear all this. We'll do one more. It doesn't help me to have the answers there already, does it? Let's do one. Uh, for this one, by the way, I'm not going. I might as well do this one. Why not? So in this case, uh, it's a triangle, but you sort of have to treat this one like a, like a regular polygon because we don't have the height length. So if it was just the triangle, but instead we're going to have to look at it from a more centralized perspective and find these pieces. So we're going to change it to map them times perimeter. And we're going to need to make our little triangle again. This is a three-sided figure. I don't think that needs to be said. Um, the bonus feature here is that I don't have to do nearly as much work to find the angles. Um, this is a three-sided figure, so it's 180 degrees, and it's an irregular polygon because it's equilateral and equiangular. So this, each one of these would be 60 degrees. This, once again, bisects that, so it's, three, it's 30 degrees. It's another 30, 60, 90 triangle. So in this case, uh, I've got a couple things that I need to deal with. I'll make my right triangle there, which isn't terrible, but it's not good. I basically just keep reminding you of that because I know that it's bad, so you don't need to say anything. Anyway, I've got this. Um, this distance here is actually just half of this, so it's three time, or 13 times the square root of 3 over 2. This would be the 60 degree side, which would mean that uh, if you remember the 30, 60, 90 thing, two times it, this is just x, x times square root of 3. So since this has a square root of 3 in it, I can just take it out and make it uh, 13 divided by 2, which is just 6 and a half. And then that makes this 13. So. Uh, there's all the parts that I need. I could have gone ahead and done perimeter, I suppose. 13 times the square root of 3 times 3. So, 1 half, 39 times the square root of 3. And then all I need to do is find the apothem link, which I already did find.
part right here, so six and a half. All I need to do is just, you know, kind of punch all that in, and it gives me the final answer that I'm looking for. That's 6.5 and not 65, by the way. Two hundred and nineteen point five. Let's check my answer. It's up very nicely there, so uh, that's it. Area of a regular polygon given only a side. It's essentially the same thing as if you're given just a radius, or maybe if you're just given an apothem. You just have to use the relationship in the triangle to find. Uh, the size that you're looking for. In the future I hope to do some where you use trigonometry a lot more because essentially if you don't have a triangle or a hexagon or something that gives you convenient side for it then it's just easier to use trig and it'll get you the answer either way. But that's that for the, uh, that's it for this one.